Hello and welcome to another video from World of Diving and today we're going to be diving a real wreck. Yes, the latest World of Diving update has added the wreck of the Bismarck. Let us experience existential dread within the corridors of corroded battleship. Well, the German battleship. It was scuttled in 1941 after a lengthy chase and a battle. From a crew of over 2,000 on board, barely 100 were rescued. And the wreck was discovered 48 years later, 5 kilometers down in the dark. That's far down, the sea's indifferential would crush you in an instant. So today we're going to have to use our imagination as we haven't got a deep sea diving suit as yet. So we're going to be paddling around in our scuba gear. But then this is maybe just a horrible dream. And that it might explain why our nipples are hard and my penis is only one inch long. It's fucking cold. Let's get in there and have a look. We know about the customization by now. It's nothing really too amazing to look at. Although the little buddies have got to unlock all those yet. And you fucking hell, this is creepy as fuck. Fuck me, 15,000 feet, and I've only got my uh, little wetsuit on. I would be absolutely fucked. Fuck me, this is spooky as shabba. Fucking aliens down here. Fucking hell. Right then, let's go towards this purple dinger donga. Let's see what we've got down here. If this is another photograph of fish having a shit one, well, I'm not doing it. I'm just going to have a little sniff around. What's this? Let's have a look then. Come on, what you got for us? Deep sea diving fishing simulator. Uh, photography simulator, sorry. So this is the actual wreck. Oh, as you can see, we're nearly 16,000 feet down. This is the actual wreck of the Bismarck. Oh my god, this is creepy. It's like the fucking abyss. Yeah, I'll say it for the third time. This is the actual wreck of the uh, Bismarck, should I say. And, um, yeah modelled one to one and we can actually apparently get inside and there are lots of things for us to collect and hopefully they've done their research and made this as realistic as possible we'll just do a quick another photography mission then while we're here gives us a chance to actually have a look at the uh, at the vessel as it were nice lighting effects down here Yeah, it would be nice if they'd added some more history about the actual um, shipwreck in there. That may come, because um, I've yet to unlock things such as official wrecks. Um, and I think that will give you information, because uh, there is an Oceanopedia in here that I've still to unlock, uh, as I've got to do some more challenges, that as you photograph different species of coral, fish, or things that you find down here, it will actually give you like an encyclopedia for you to learn as well. Just looking here for the actual, I think it's going to be the anti-air guns. Yeah, and it's giving me a rough thing down here. I wish there was also an option as well to take off these hints. And also on these photography things, just to get rid of the timer. It's just, it's, it, it turns it into an arcade game, yeah? And I'd much rather just come around here and enjoy it. Even taking these brackets off, it's just, it just kills the immersion. Um, yeah, really quite cool really would like to try this game with Oculus Rift, but it really adds another dimension to the game. I'm not a fan of the deep as it is, even when I go on holiday, going in diving or jumping in deep water. I remember when I went diving in Australia and um, we were like uh, above a 50 metre uh, drop off the water was quite dark below I didn't want to jump in, it's just that unknown spookiness of what's down there but uh, I mean dive down to 35 metres um, it's fine once you're down there it's just only when you look up you go fuck me, I'm fucking deep if fucking anything goes wrong down here now you feel like you're fucked but obviously you have a buddy system and you also you can use each other's tanks should you need it as you're coming up to the surface. So I do hope they put in the simulation mode that they said they would. You know where you'd have to calculate uh, speeds for uh, uh, sending back up to the surface. Just 
so that you don't get too much nitrogen or bends in your blood. I hope all that's in there and they um, really make it a proper diving thing. Get rid of all these little arcadey semi bits. Fine, add the photography in, but just get rid of this, this the arcade element part to it and I think the game will be enjoyable by a lot more people. So supposedly we can actually get into this wreck, so let's just see if we can swim in here and have a look. I don't know whether it did show us like um what was like the funnel on top, you could probably get into the bottom so we can get in through here. Nice creepy. Now is that a body? No, it can't be. The body wouldn't turn to iron. What the hell? Maybe it just looks like a body and it's smiting girders. I hope they haven't just blocked areas off just because they can't be bothered modelling it. I hope this is actually how the wreck really looks now. Otherwise, what, what's the point of having a world of diving if it's not going to be a proper world of diving? Oh my god, I think if I was actually diving down here with a buddy system, I'd have some sort of rope to lead me in and out. This just feels like the underwater version of The Shining. Fucking hell, creepy down here. So I suppose everything else has just rotted away. Um, okay, is that as far as I can go? Have we been through here? Easy to get lost, isn't it? What the heck? No. What's up here? Have we been? I think we've been up here, haven't we? Let's go straight across. Can we swim through there? There's a door at the end. Yeah, it'd be cool if they had like underwater cave systems that you had to explore uh, and map out. Um, things like that, I'm sure there's a lot more that they could do with it. They are actually adding an Amazon crocodile level where you can go into the freshwater marshes and um, go looking for crocodile. Hang on. What? Don't tell me I fucking got stuck down here. No! Fucking turbo boost! Give me a mushroom! Are you fucking shitting me? How the fuck have I got stuck? Oh my god. Turbo boost. No, it's another way out. Turbo boost. Oh, you motherfucking fishy fuck. Fucking hell. Go wanka. You fucking wanka developers. You. Yo, wanker! Goodbye to more money from me, you fuckers! Got me stuck in here like a motherfucker! Gonna fucking die down here in my fucking wet suit! Fucking hell! Get me the fuck out! You fuckers! Devs, you better let me. Ah. Calling the devs a bunch of fucking wankers seems to get you out. Let's get the fuck out of here. Spookiest fucking here. Got some spooky shit, man. Yeah, exactly. Right, anyway, I think I'm gonna go back to the flipping pod. Because this place is terrifying. Really, what you would have done in that little lad, you would have taken your tank off and pushed your tank through and swum through behind it, but anyway. This is like the fucking abyss down here. Jesus Christ. You piss in your own wetsuit, but that keeps you warm. Right, I'm going back to the fucking pod. Fuck this shit. Anyway, guys, again, another video where I've not really shown you much, just me floating around in my own piss. Um, oh, look, there's a little kinder egg down here. What's this? That's a gold coin, but you need fucking 5,000 just to get a new pair of fucking undercrackers in this game. Let's go back to the fucking pod, not staying out of here. Anyway, this has been a quick look, an actual wreck of the Bismarck, which was a German uh, vessel that was shot down by the fucking Brits. And I don't care if that's right or wrong, that's the way it fucking is, and that's the way it is, and the way it was, and the way it always will be. Yeah. Right, lads, I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe and give us a like if you want some more. Otherwise, don't bother. Cheers.